Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title already, today I will be doing an unboxing video. So today I will be unboxing this box that I received from Choa Box. Um, so I actually received this super long ago that I can't even remember when. Um, so basically Choa Box is a Korean beauty subscription box provider. So you basically um, sign up to one of their subscription plans and you get to receive a box of K-beauty products every month. I believe they have a few different packages for you to choose from but the starting price is around $35 so let's see what we've got in this box um, and see if it's worth $35. So I haven't actually opened this box yet because I wanted to save the unboxing experience with you guys so without further ado let's open this box. So as you can see it just comes in this really simple black box that says Joa Box Beauty and then let's open it. <laughs> So here is what we've got when we open the box. Um, we've got a little card and um, the pamphlet or the brochure, whatever you want to call it, a booklet. Okay, the sun just, just went down. Okay, so as you can see, it just says Choa Box June. And then there's this little card that um, looks like a poker card. I'm not sure what's it for. You can use it as a bookmark or whatever I mean if you sign up to their subscription plans you'll get a lot of these so uh, I don't know maybe you can collect until you form like a set of poker cards <laughs> I don't know so the first item in the booklet is the time stop collagen ampule so let me just grab it here it is um, okay so this is from the brand called the plant base and it's $29 so already this takes up like 80% 80, 90, 80%? <laughs> 85% of um, the cost price of this box. Okay, so the main thing about this product is collagen um, and it will help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It is an anti-aging ampule um, that can be mixed with other skincare products to boost it. So this ampule contains 76.53% of mushroom extract. <laughs> I might need a pair of scissors. So it looks like that very pretty looking bottle. It is a copper shade and it has like a gradient copper to gray shade and overall just looks very nice. So let's take a look at the ingredients because that is how I work these days. Um, okay, so straight up the very first ingredient is the mushroom extract which is nice. And then it also contains another mushroom extract. It has glycerin, it has hyaluronic acid, very nice. See, it has Centella, Asia Tikka extract, very nice, and then it also has aloe vera. So these are all like the first few ingredients, which is nice because I'm actually pretty shocked that it has um, hyaluronic acid as one of the top ingredients because I do love hyaluronic acid. Um, and then it has castor oil and then caramel, and then it also has macadamia seed oil. And yeah. That's pretty much the ingredients that I can identify. Um, so since it has oils, I'm not like a big fan of it because I have acne prone skin so I don't use oils on my skin um, apart from squalene but this contains oil. If you're not so acne prone, I guess it's fine to use oils on your skin. Um, so you can consider this product since it is um, very hydrating and it has this mushroom extract which I'm not sure, I mean what? mushroom extracts does uh oh so the mushroom contains collagen apparently um that helps to revitalize and recharge the skin's radiance i mean it sounds good it doesn't contain any drying or harmful ingredients like essential oils and alcohol so the only thing that bothers me is the oil um because i have acne prone skin so if you don't have acne prone skin you know go ahead i think this mp is a really great product it's really rare to find products that doesn't contain alcohol so i am really impressed with this one so let's see how the texture is like so to open this product I actually had to do some research because I couldn't figure out how to open this <laughs> so you basically twist it a little bit first and then this thing pops up and then you twist it some more and then it's actually a dropper interesting right so I actually really really like the packaging it's so cool so let's I'm gonna put this um, at the back of my hand just to see how it feels like oh it's really thick it doesn't have a smell 
um, which is nice because there isn't any fragrance in the ingredients as well and it feels really smooth and definitely not oily but I mean because I have acne prone skin I cannot risk uh, putting oils on my face but it feels great and it doesn't feel sticky or anything and um, despite the consistency looking quite thick it's actually very light and it gets absorbed in very quickly well, I wouldn't say it has a pleasant smell, like it does have a really mild scent but since you know it doesn't have fragrance in it, it's, it's not like the best smelling thing but it shouldn't bother you because the scent is so mild anyway so really impressed with the very first product, I do like it, it feels good on my hand and according to the ingredients, it's a good product so that's the first one and then moving on, we've got the Air Fit Velvet Lipstick, which is $17.50. So already you got your money back with these two products. So this is the lipstick. It's from the brand called Rive, and it's the Air Fit Lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade L02, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so it looks like this, very slim, and it has a like suede matte packaging. Okay, so this is a velvet matte lipstick that feels as light as hair. Um, it has no sticky feeling, it is easy to apply, that will leave your lips with a vivid color for a long time. Um, interesting, so I'm not really a huge matte lipstick wearer, but uh, this looks like something I would try. I'm just gonna swatch the color on the back of my hand. Ooh, okay, it looks really nice. It looks totally like something I would wear. I would say it's like a medium natural pink shade with more reddish tones. I'm not sure how to explain this, but it does look very nice. It looks like a burnt pink shade, which I do love. I mean, the color is really wearable and natural looking as well, so you don't have to, you know, it's not like a funky shade that not everyone will like but I feel like for this shade majority will be able to pull it off in fact I think everyone will be able to pull it off <laughs> moving on to our next product we've got the Galactomyce Galactomyce dry lock mask um, and it is this one it is from the brand called I'm sorry for my skin which is funny, why do you need to be sorry for your skin? So this face mask contains 69% of galactomyce. I'm not sure what's that. Oh, it's a type of fungus that helps to nourish and revitalize the skin while reducing signs of aging. It is considered one of the strongest ingredients in skincare to help improve your skin, mainly used in Korean and Japanese cosmetics. This mask is conceived to keep the ampule on the mask and be more efficient than classical sheet masks. So this mask is actually pretty expensive, it's $10, so <laughs> that's really pricey for a sheet mask. Um, so yeah, it's skincare, so let's take a look at the ingredients. Okay, so the first ingredient is the Galactomyce Firm and Filtrate, um, which as mentioned here, it has 69% of that, which is nice, again. And then it has glycerin, niacinamide, it has aloe vera, it has some um, basil leaf extract, basil extract. Um, it has rice brain extract, soybean ferment extract, ferment, ferment. Why do I keep saying ferment? Ferment extract. Um, it has mushroom extract, and then oh, it has lavender oil. So those are the ingredients that I can recognize. So like I mentioned, this contains um, lavender oil, which is basically fragrance, which is basically essential oil. So um, I wouldn't recommend this for people with sensitive skin. If you have eczema, rosacea, definitely want to avoid um, essential oils. If your skin tolerance is not that low and you don't really have sensitive skin, you can, I mean, you can try and use this. It's, one-time thing so I don't think it's that harmful for your skin 
Okay, next up we have another beauty product. This is the Length of Volume Boost Cara from Line. Oh no, it's not from Line. It's from Misha and it's from their Line collection. So this mascara is $9 so pretty affordable so this mascara is non clumping it is long lasting and easy to wash the volume boost version will give your lashes volume and dark look and the length one will provide you clean long look oh okay so this is you can get either the length boost cara or the volume boost cara so there are two types so the one i got is the volume boost care nice because I do like voluming mascaras I do have pretty long natural lashes so I don't really go for a lengthy mascaras I love a good volume boosting mascara though so this is what it looks like very cute packaging and it also says that you can use the corrector on top of the packaging you received as a bookmark and I assume it's this I'm not sure if you guys can see but it's really cute you can use it as a bookmark it's really cute it's the line corrector I'm not sure what this guy's name is is it Coney? I think it is <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I do have mascara on right now. I really wasn't expecting a mascara in the package, so I can't try it, it out for you guys. But this is how it looks like. comes in this really cute packaging. I will put a close-up shot of it so you can see it. So it also came with some stickers which you can apparently stick onto the mascara to sort of customize it. So that's really cute if you are a line fan i'm sure you'll like this so moving on we've got our very last product which is the aloe vera moisture soothing gel okay so this looks um something that i'm very interested in it's from the brand called farmstay and it's only three dollars but it comes in this super big packaging so this aloe vera moisture soothing gel is free from mineral oil artificial pigment and paraben it will provide moisture and nutrients to your skin but also soothe damaged skin and offer a cool sensation so i do love aloe vera a lot like just this morning i applied aloe vera onto my skin so i do like that cooling effect that aloe vera gives i don't feel like aloe vera is very moisturizing though every time i use it it's just for the cooling effect it just feels very soothing but as usual this is a skincare product so let's dive into the ingredient list um so first up oh it has alcohol as the third ingredient so immediately this is this isn't a product that i will use um you can actually use this on your body and your hair so i'm not that strict when it comes to the skin on my body and my hair so uh, i will probably use this um you know it's summer it's hot if you got a sunburn this is great i mean it really came in a big packaging so this is alcohol as the third ingredient which i will not recommend if again you have um just human skin <laughs> next it also has a couple of other ingredients that i don't know and then the one two three four five six seven the seven ingredient is the aloe vera and it also has um witch hazel which again is drying and then it has some leaf root extract it has aloe vera ferment extract and then oh it also has fragrance so overall i would say that this product is really not suitable if you have sensitive skin or if you if you have irritated skin because um as opposed to soothing your skin the alcohol the witch hazel the fragrance can really like dry out and sensitize your skin so i do not recommend this to put this like all over your skin i do feel like it's great if you have a sunburn on your leg or something just not really on your face or sensitive parts of your skin i mean if you have eczema like all over your body i will not recommend this as well so yeah just take note <laughs> this one contains alcohol and fragrance but i feel like this is the only like problematic product i mean like this mask doesn't contain alcohol as well which like i mentioned is actually really difficult to find skincare products without alcohol so i am actually surprised this doesn't so apart from this i feel like the rest are really great products and this is only three dollars so it's kind of like a 
bonus add-in or something. <laughs> so those are all the products in the box. I feel like my favorite products are definitely the cosmetic products. Um, you know, first of all, I do love a volume mascara. Currently, I'm using the one from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And I've been using that for many, many months now. I feel like it's time to try out a new mascara. And since this is from Misha, you know, it's a really great brand that I trust so I do look forward to use this and then this looks really pretty as well I mean it's really a shade that I will use for the rest of the products I feel like it's because I'm a little bit more sensitive when it comes to skincare I do have a routine that I don't like to change like every month you do have to wait for like four to six four, four to eight weeks to see if a product is really working for your skin so I'm not really the kind of person who likes to change up the products in my skincare routine so quickly so overall I feel like the products are great they are value for the money um, and I feel like if you're the kind of person who are very interested in k-beauty and you want to try these less mainstream k-beauty brands and I feel like this subscription box would be perfect for you so if you're interested I'll leave the link to Choa box in the description box below so you can check them out and with that said we've come to the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you very soon in my next one bye